Brianna Stewart, Team Stewie, representing year two. What's the vibe for you? Oh, the vibe is, you know, I want everybody to have fun. I have a few first time all-stars on this team and mm -hmm. uh, I make sure that the experience is exactly what they thought it would be, if not more. Mm -hmm. But also I'm gonna tell them, listen, you guys need to hydrate. We need to get our sleep yeah. because I lost last year, so we need to win. And you need to win. Just kind of tell us what it's like to experience your first All-Star game. I mean, it's it's pretty special. Obviously, being an All-Star is something that I wanted to achieve. And so to be able to do that and just to be here with you know, so many great athletes and to be here with Joel, I think is pretty cool as well. I think for me, the biggest part is that you think about how far you've come mm -hmm. and everything you have to be through. For me, I could just finally say that it feels really, really good to kind of be a part of this. What does that sacrifice look like to, to be here? A lot of blood, sweat, and tears, that's for sure. <laughs> so if you, I literally, I literally mean blood, sweat, and tears. Like, yeah. you spend a lot of time crying. You spend a lot of time sweating, trying to get your shot right, trying mm -hmm. to make this is right, this is right. Basketball has always been my passion. So the easy part was just, was the work, but the hard Hardest part is mentally yeah. trying to stay in it sometimes. It's really a blessing, honestly. When I really look at it, I'm like, no, people really <laughs> rock with me. Like, I can't really accept that. And that's my biggest thing is just to make sure that, you know, I, I, I'm here for everyone. And it's hard and it may just pull me thin, mm -hmm. uh, but it's always grateful when you see people just vote for you and want to see you and your teammates and everyone uh, that the pool that we had just be successful. So it's truly a blessing. When I think of you outside of the excellence that you provide on the court, I also think about sis here, stay late. <laughs> what is the preparation? See, what is the preparation? What goes into making sure that we good, you know? <laughs> One thing I don't play about is this hair, so you better know if you see me looking crazy, that means I'm having a rough, real rough time. <laughs> Uh, it means a lot. I'm super happy to be here. I'm honestly just excited. Like it's been great seeing everyone, uh, having a good time, and I can't wait for tomorrow. What is it like being on Team Stewart? Like, what's the vibe yeah. that team that, that Stewie got going on? We locked in. Are y'all locked <laughs> no. in? <laughs> no. Um, I mean, winners. I feel like I just have winners around me, and mm -hmm. that's the vibe that I'm sensing. All stars. There's always tons of great moments. Like, mm -hmm. do you have a favorite moment that sticks out? Yeah. I mean, last year I loved when still dunked. Down. That was awesome, because I've been asking her to dunk for four years. And she was like, nah. She never dunked, <laughs> but she did in the All-Star game. So that was awesome. Maybe still dunking? Yeah, that was pretty cool. That's a, that is yeah. a player favorite right now. A lot of people say yeah. that. But yeah. honestly, it was off my turnover. So. 2018, when All-Star was in Seattle, mm -hmm. that was a lot of fun. Just being in the city that I was drafted, that's where I was for, for however many years, and, and being able to kind of share and celebrate Seattle with everyone else in the WBA. Just growing up and watching um, the All-Star Games, just understanding what it meant to be, you know, one of those players that were able to make it and, and what that means. Team Wilson, I heard, a birdie told me Team Wilson is a vibe. So, like, <laughs> what are we getting from Team Wilson? Like, how has that atmosphere been? How have your teammates been? Yeah, it's been good so far. I mean, um, you know, just trying to get everybody in, in, in on time and mm -hmm. in the right spaces has been our, our goal so far. I know that's right. Did you know the shot was going in? <laughs> I knew I had to get the shot up. <laughs> and that is what I did. And that is what you did. So we're gonna play a quick game. Okay. Three questions. It's yeah. called facts or cap. I'm gonna ask you three, I'm just gonna make three random statements and then you let me know if it's facts or cap. First, Aaliyah's hair is pink and blue. Facts or cap? Facts. It's just pink and white. It's cap. Oh. <laughs> really? I think that's facts. It's cap. Is it pink? It's pink and white. Oh, pink and white. I tricked you. I don't know, I saw it this morning. I felt like I saw blue in there. Aaliyah's hair is pink and blue. Facts or cap? Cap. That's right. Yeah. It's pink it's and white. Pink and, yeah. There we go. Okay. Let's dinner with it. Okay, there we go. We off to a good start. Aaliyah's hair is pink and blue. Facts or cap? That's cap because I saw her hair. It's pink and white. It's, it's pink and white. There you go. Okay. I know my teammate. <laughs> Courtney Vandersloot mm -hmm. is the oldest all star here. Facts. Cap is DB. Oh. Courtney Vandersloot is the oldest all star here. Cap. Someone shot before her and today at practice. It's De it's Dewana Bonner. Okay, yeah, you, you like, got no. it right, Dewana Bonner. <laughs> Let's see, Courtney Vandersloot. She's the oldest All Star here. Facts or cap? The oldest. Mm hmm. Facts. Cap is the dang. <laughs> Dewana Bonner has a set of triplets. Facts or cap? Cap. Twins. It is twins. It is. Twins. Was it the commercial? Facts or cap? 
there are two all-stars who are members of grief organizations. Facts. That is facts. That's facts. Yes. Um, Asia. Yep. James, who else? Ryan. Ryan, yes. <laughs> That's facts. Yes, That's facts. Yes. Asia's flavor of Ruffles is honey barbecue. Facts or cap? What's facts? Cat. That's the LeBron one. It's smoky barbecue. Oh, okay, okay. Asia has a flavor of Ruffles that is honey barbecue. True. It's smoky barbecue. Okay. See, yeah. That can't, you got I that. tripped you, I tripped you, yeah. I tripped you. Honey barbecue, I'm gonna say cap. It is cap, it's smoked <laughs> barbecue. Smoked barbecue? Okay. Smoked barbecue. <laughs> AT has five triple doubles this season. Facts or cap? Facts. It's cap, she got three. <laughs> AT has five triple doubles this season. Facts. It's cap. What? Is it four more than she five? She has three this season. Oh. Five altogether. Oh wow. But it I love feels like she had five. No, yeah, I think two of the three were against us. <laughs> okay, she... AT has five triple doubles this season. Facts or cap? I almost want to say cap because I think she has more. It's cap because she has less. She has three this season. Oh, she has three. Five altogether, though. So you wasn't wrong. Okay, okay. The Wanda Bomber has been six women of the year three times. Facts or cap? Facts. Facts. It is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DD. Okay, okay. Um, Arike has three career double doubles. Facts or cap? Cap. You said that quick, Stewie. Because I just learned she just had her first one. Oh my God, absolutely. Uh, Stewie is on it. Brianna Stewart, she was finals MVP for both of her WNBA championships. Facts or cap? Facts. That is facts. Yes, facts. Brianna Stewart won finals MVP for both of her WNBA championships. Facts or cap? Facts. Facts. <laughs> We're in her back I had to think about my questions a little bit more now. I'm like rapid firing it. I'm not getting them. Brianna Stewart was finals MVP of both her WNBA championships. Facts or cap? Facts. Facts. Way to Team clean it up. Stewie. Team Stewie, right here, y'all. I got your back, Stewie. <laughs>